let's take a look at recursive sequences. Recur a recursive sequence uses a previous term or terms to determine the next term in the sequence. A really common and familiar example for people are the Fibonacci sequence. This is a recursive sequence. Each term is determined by adding the two before it. So if we look, the Fibonacci sequence would be 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on because to get to each term, I take the two before it, add them together. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight, and so it continues. Five plus eight is thirteen. Eight plus thirteen is twenty-one. So on and so forth. When we're writing the definition for a recursive sequence, though, it looks a little bit different. What I have to do is I have to say, okay, my a sub n is going to be the term before it, so that's a sub n minus 1. That n minus 1 is telling me to use the term before. And I'm also adding the term 2 before, so a sub n minus 2. Because this sequence requires me to add the two previous terms. I can only start using the sequence to determine the third term. I can't use it to figure out the first term or the second term because for the first term there are no two terms before it. And for the second term there's only one term before it, not two. So this definition does not work unless I'm using n greater than or equal to 3. It only works for the third term and above. Because of that, I have to define what a sub 1 and a sub 2 are. So I have to say that a sub 1 is 0 and a sub 2 is 1. I need to give that to people, that way they can plug it into the equation to solve for the third term and above. Let's look at some examples. You're given two definitions of recursive sequences. I want you to find the first five terms of each sequence. Try that on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, for A, I'm already told that A sub 1 is 3. I'm then told that every next term, I want to take the term before it and add 5. So a sub 2 is going to be 3 plus 5, which is 8. a sub 3 is going to be 8 plus 5, which is 13. a sub 4 is 13 plus 5, that gives me 18. And a sub 5 is 18 plus 5, 23. Thus I have 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Hopefully, you notice that this is the same exact five terms that we saw in example A up here with, or example 2A. Even though 2A was defined as 5n minus 2. This tells you that for some sequences, there are multiple ways to define it. I can define it with an explicit formula, or I can define it with a recursive formula as we see here. Let's try one more. How about example B? I'm told that my first term is 2. My next term, I want to take that previous term, multiply it by 3, and then add 1. So I get 6 plus 1 is 7. For the third term, I take the previous term, 7, multiply by 3, and then add 1. 21 plus 1 is 22. My fourth term, take 22, multiply it by 3, and then add 1. So I get 67. And then for my fifth term, I take 67, multiply by 3, and then add 1. And this gives me 202. Thus my terms are 2, 7, 22, 